New York still holds that great attraction to me. And now I can go there as a performer type and make my way. I was power walking the other day through freezing cold, um, uh, fighting with Heidi via texting. We will find any way to have conflict. Shut up, no, you shut up. My hands are freezing, I hope they freeze off. It's always intense. And so I'm power walking up to the Fuse building at 32nd and 6th to do an interview. And as I'm walking up, I walk past this fur coat store and there is a man, he's basically the sandwich board, uh, come on in, but it's for a fur coat. He is standing in the most ridiculous fur coat I've ever seen in my life. It's like 90,000 minks are surrounding this guy. The fur comes this far off his body. He cannot move his arms because of the fur. So he's standing there kind of like this with this hilarious huge fur cap with this little tiny face in between with this booming voice. Anyone who comes near the store, get that fur coat! Fur time! Come on now! Fur coat time! Right now! And it's, it's just amazing to see this little tiny face and this huge, and he's just like, get that fur coat! Right now, baby! We got him! You know you want him bad! And as I walk by, some old lady stops and looks in the window looks at him and he's about to open the door for her but she nods and walks away and as she walks away he gets right in her face and says tell me when you're ready 